She was a housewife. In those days, the man was the king. My mother kept the house going as she looked after us, my brother and I. And this was typical in those days. My dad, of course, was a, an excellent businessman. He started with export just after the war and uh, went to the United States. And they understood the design and the, the modern uh, creations of uh, Hans J. Wegner. They placed themselves in the very high end of the market, and it became a very big success. She had nothing to do with the business, but when they had to choose new furniture from Wegener and so on, uh, she had an extremely good taste. In fact, my mother and Wegener got on very, very well. My dad died, unfortunately, very young, uh, in 1962. He came back from Copenhagen in the evening and uh, didn't feel well. A few minutes later, after he went to bed, he died. It was terrible, because you don't say goodbye. When he died, of course, uh, it all fell apart. Of course, there came a lot of my dad's friends to pay their respect, but there were also a lot of creditors coming to, to get their money. And there was a whole line standing there. I think very few of them thought that we had the ability to continue. And she was then faced with the, with the choice of either selling the company or, um, or continuing. If she sold it, she would, of course, get a, some money for it, but uh, she was much more interested in seeing it continuing. Luckily, my dad had a very well-organized life insurance. There was enough to pay the uh, creditors. She was a woman that knew exactly what she wanted. After she had thought about it, what was the best thing she could do for, for my brother and I, and I think that was her absolute top priority. She decided to continue, which was highly unusual. A big risk, it was a huge risk. And incredible, she could uh, pull herself together and make all that decisions just a few days after he died. And after that, we had no money left. And she had to basically start up from nothing. Well, her female friends, they didn't, uh, they didn't like it. So they left her, basically. A woman didn't do that. I mean, who do you think you are? Forget it, you are a housewife and nothing else, and stay housewife. But uh, she couldn't care less. She had an enormous respect from, from the people working in the factory. They did everything they could to back her up. And she was very good at it, I can tell you. She knew exactly what could sell and what couldn't sell, and very passionate. I must admit, I learned a lot from her, and also her energy. And she ran the company for 20 years. We knew how she was uh, fighting for our existence. And today, you can only be happy that she did. And I, sometimes, you know, when I walk around the factory, you know, I think, I hope she sees it. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> <laughs>